Yo what up guys, welcome to this new video. When we board a plane, the goal is simple. To get to our destination as safely and pleasantly as possible. But sometimes we get in our own way. To be a safer and more cautious traveler, don't make the following 10 airplane mistakes. Avoiding some of these behaviors will keep you from getting on your fellow flyer nerves. Avoiding others could even save your life. And therefore we present today the top 10 things you should not do on an airplane. Number 10. New Medication Where would you rather be when you discover that Ambien makes you hallucinate or that you're allergic to your new iron supplement? At home, with easy access to your doctor and the local hospital? Or in a metal tube hurtling 35,000 feet above the Pacific? Never take a medicine in flight that you haven't already taken for a test run at home. Number 9. The Safety Briefing I know, the briefing is boring, you've heard it a million of times, and you already know how to buckle a seatbelt. As tedious as it seems, though, the information could save your life one day. At the very least, take a few seconds to figure out where the nearest emergency exit is and how many rows away it is from your seat. In a dark or smoky cabin, you'll want to be able to count the rows by touching the seat as you make your way towards an exit. Number 8. Jokes about bombs No one is going to laugh at your one-liner about guns, weapons or anything else that could be taken as threatening. Particularly not to flight attendants, who have the power to remove you from a flight if they think that there is even the slightest chance that you might pose a security risk. Note, the same advice goes to the customs people and TSA agents. Number 7. Reclining your seat One of the biggest debates in the travel world is whether it's okay to recline your seat. Whichever side of the issue you take, I think all of us can agree that once the food and drink cart start rolling down the aisles, it's only courteous to make sure your seat is upright so the person behind you can have a full access to his or her tray. Number 6. Drinking too much No one will complain if you have a glass of wine with dinner, but overindulging in alcohol can have consequences ranging from dehydration to even getting kicked off the plane for disorderly behavior. Remember, no one wants to sit next to the guy who reeks of alcohol, passes out on your shoulder or throws up on your shoes. Number 5. Stinky Food Speaking of mealtimes, give your seatmates a break. Don't show up for your flight with a tuna sandwich or a plate of onion rings. Not only will they stink while you're eating them, but they'll also ensure that you have a bad breath for the rest of the flight. Number 4. Luggage in the overhead bins as pet peeves go, this is one of my biggest. When the person in 33A puts her carry-on in the bin above row 16, ensuring that there won't be enough space for the people actually sitting in row 16 to stow their own bags. This means people in the front of the plane end up having to put their bags toward the back, which leads to passengers trying to get against the stream of traffic when it comes time to the plane. Do everyone a favor and use your own overhead bin space unless there's no alternative. Number 3. Bags under your seat In other carry-on shenanigans, please don't be the person who puts your rolling suitcase and your backpack and your coat in the overhead bin on a full flight. Leave space for other people's stuff by putting your personal item under the seat in front of you and squeezing your coat onto the empty spaces left after everyone else has fit their larger bags into the bin. Number 2. Feed on other passengers I have no problem with people slipping off their shoes to be more comfortable on a long flight, with a few important exceptions. First, your feet should be as unobtrusive as possible to everyone else. Second, put your shoes back on before you go to the lavatory. And finally, if you know you're blunt to bromodices, the polite scientific term for smelly feet, be considerate of your fellow passengers and leave your shoes on. 
Last but not least, number one, your neighbor's space. With airplane seats getting smaller and smaller, passengers with broad shoulders or long legs almost can't have spilling over the bounds of their seat at some point. But I'm speaking out against intentional behaviors like manspreading, hogging the armrests or flipping your ponytail over the back of your seat, so it obscures the video screen of the person behind you. Your neighbors paid for their space, too. Respect it. And now that we know the top 10 things you should not do on an airplane, I want to navigate you to all our other videos that we are making. Please subscribe to my channel, press that like button if you liked the video and leave in the reactions down below what's your frustration on an airplane. I want to thank you all for watching and hope to see you next Wednesday. Bye bye guys!